that reference to Alcott, as you've seen by Peter, eluded us for quite a while. We couldn't find an Alcott. There is an Alcott Priory in Tamworth, and Tamworth, of course, was involved in the Civil Wars, but we didn't think that was the one. As he said, he was here at the Battle of Newbury. So we were searching for Alcott, and it was eluding us. And then one night, whilst reading a history book, we came across this passage referring to royalist troops staying at a small village near Newbury. Uh, and the village, of course, was called Alverscote. We then researched and searched, and Peter will now show you how, when we spoke to a historian, how we found out that, in fact, the village isn't always referred to as Alverscote. We were looking, if you remember, for Alcott. And Peter is now demonstrating to you how, in fact, the locals, for a long time, have known this village as Alcott. And that has been confirmed. There you go. In the fight, I received a blow to the back of my head, which caused blood to pour into my eyes. I was eventually dragged off by, I believe, one of my own men, and we were taken to a place called Elkett, or Alverscott, where we are now. Taken to this place to be treated for my, injury, my injuries. Carry on. How far have I got? Under hypnosis, as John Raphael, I said that one of the first battles I was involved in during the English Civil War was the Battle of Newbury, where I was involved in a fight with an officer. I also received a blow to the back of my head during this fight. I was dragged off by some of my own men and taken some miles away to a place called Alverscott which we have now, has been confirmed, is called Alcott. And I called it Alcott under hypnosis. As I say, we were taking to some building, large building, for treatment. We have found out since we arrived in Alcott, we have now discovered, as it confirmed, that Charles I and Charles II stayed here during the English Civil War at Chilkut House, which is over the back here. We have also found out from some of the local re residents that Charles I and his son Charles II were here during the English Civil War and stayed at Chilk House. On arriving in this village and looking around, I had funny feelings about it. There were certain areas that seemed to ring a bell. Now, especially behind me here, where these row of cottages are. I must say that they were there all those years ago. There were similar dwellings to what is here now. And as you can see, Peter is standing outside the building that is remarkably like the one he drew with the two towers either side of the first, the main door. Remembering, of course, the rest of the building has been demolished. When it, the main tower, fortunately, does. And it's just possibly went through that doorway once before. And Peter is going to show us some of the places of interest that he talked about under hypnosis. Uh, I've noticed, Peter, having looked at the uh, 